it's your boy D to the A to the I to the N. If y'all, if I lost y'all on that spelling right there, it's your boy Dane, and we back with another video. So I, right. in today's video, a lot of people been asking me, what should I turn my gun into, my weapon into? Should I turn my weapon into a shadow shard or obsidian? So in this video right here, I'm gonna be explaining which one is best or which one I think is best. Nah, it is it is the best. It is the best. It is the best. Which one is the best for you to upgrade your gun to? So first, we gotta find a gun to upgrade. So I already found my gun. We're gonna be upgrading this new weapon right here, the um duet. So let's go ahead and upgrade the duet right here. So um Right now, while I'm doing this, I want y'all to go hit that subscribe button. I want y'all to hit that subscribe button. Scroll down, hit that subscribe button real quick. I want y'all to like the video. I want y'all to comment down below what videos y'all want to see. Any videos that y'all want to see, comment down below. We'll leave it in the comment section. I also, if y'all watched my last video in the beginning of my first, my last video, I want y'all to go watch that. Because I need y'all to go follow me on my Instagram and on my Twitter. Because I said something in my last video. I need y'all to go look at that. After y'all finish watching this video. So yeah, just subscribe, like the video, and let's get it. Alright, so you get to this point right here. This is a three-star weapon. So once it gets to three-star, you're about to be four-star, right? On the left side, you have Obsidian. On the left side, you have Obsidian. On the right side, you have Shadow Shard. So as y'all can see, this is Obsidian. Obsidian Range Assault. On this side, shadow shard, shadow shard, ranged assault. All right, so I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. You see, the reason why I go with shadow shard, it doesn't make sense to go with obsidian. Cause the only thing that obsidian gives you is just duration, um, duration, du durability, and fire rate. Which, which the fire is not a big difference. Because you could put in some perks for the fire rate so the fire rate go back to its normal. So as you have to see, the fire rate is 5.0 right here, okay? Over here is 4.5. It's a, a, a tad bit slower. Not not that big of a deal. Durability is 300. Over here is 375. But if you have the material, just like me, if, I, if you have the material to just craft weapons, you won't have an issue if it breaks on you. So if your weapon breaks, all you gotta do is craft another one. So you use the weapon, it breaks, you could just craft another one. When it when he has the 300 durability. But if you put it on the obsidian now, the damage and the headshot damage is the gun is just gonna be basic. It's just gonna be a basic gun. So no buff, no nothing. On the shadow shot now, look look at the difference. Headshot damage, seven thousand eight hundred. Over here is 9,400. So it's basically the same level of gun you're putting on. But so for some reason, this one is giving you like 2,000 more damage. Over here, you have 11,700 head da headshot damage. Over here, 14,000. So 3,000 more headshot damage for just upgrading the gun and putting it to Shadow Shard. So this is why I like to put my gun to Shadow Shard. Because I have the material to craft it. If you're like a person that don't like farming and... Yeah, you don't like farming. You don't like farming. So whenever your gun breaks, it takes you a while. You got to go farm for the materials and stuff to get the gun back. It's up to you. You could use this. The gun lasts longer, but it's just going to be a basic gun. It's not going to do as much damage as the Shadow Shard. But if you have a lot of mats, you could craft the gun as soon as it breaks. I, get, I, I definitely guarantee you should go with Shadow Shard. So... That's 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 basically the difference, the fire rate and the durability. The damage and the headshot damage. That's the only difference between these two stuff right here. And the materials to use to craft it. As you can see, you use crystal, you use quartz crystal to craft shadow shard guns. You use quartz crystal to craft shadow shard guns. Let me show you what quartz crystal is. If y'all don't know what quartz crystal is. Let me go to my backpack. Crafting. So this is quartz crystal. You can use use um a couple of discs to craft your shadow shard gun with the shadow shard. So you use the shadow shard, but with the obsidian, you use the obsidian 
and you use um let me try to find it you use this right here blast powder so you use blast powder and obsidian as you can see i have zero blast powder because i don't i don't even use blast powder that's to show you um the amount of, look how much coal i have i don't even use blast powder all my guns are shadow shot let me go to my schematic show you all my guns sunbeam 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 is the is the is the next level for um shadow shard so after shadow shard the five star becomes sunbeam for obsidian the five star becomes bright core so as I, this gun right here is bright core because this was when i just started playing save the world this was like from last year this was last year on um, new year's event and that's when i didn't know i didn't know the difference but now i do know the difference so as y'all can see sunbeam sunbeam bright core this is a long i had this gun a long time ago as you can see the old guns is the gun I have with bright core but most of these guns I'm gonna change it out I'm gonna recycle it I'm gonna get get back all the perks and stuff and I'm gonna try to get another storm blade and put it on there as I can see bright core you cannot put explosives to sunbeam the, th these are the only guns you could put to bright core explosives weapons that, that you should put to bright core because on explosives you need the you need that durability so as y'all can see on this gun, let me go to my Santa's little helper. The durability is fi um 15 shots. If I didn't have it, I think you could only put it on bright core. You can only put it on bright core because it's better for it's better for um the durability for the um explosives. As y'all can see, all my all my explosives bright core. My guns shadow shot. Yeah. So. As I said, I want y'all to comment down below what video y'all want me to do. This, this, was, this was just a quick video because somebody was asking me why should I put my gun to Shadow Shard than Bright Core. And not, do not make this mistake, alright? Once you click on Evolve, don't click on um, Confirm as yet. Click on Evolve and make sure you go to the right. Because sometimes you might be upgrading so fast you forgot to shift to the right. So make sure you go over to the right and click on Confirm. Yeah, and as y'all can see, this gun is way better. The perks on this gun is way better. The perks didn't change. The headshot damage and the damage on this gun is way better than the one on the Obsidian. Because if you want, let me show you if you want. If you want, you could just go to Modify Perks. You could just go right here. Fire Rate. You could change the Fire Rate if you want. You could put the fire rate back up to 5. You could even let it go faster. You could upgrade the fire rate to even more than what the the obsidian has. Where's the durability? Durability right here. You could even put the durability back up. You could upgrade it to whatever you want. So it's up to you. So make sure you put it on Shadow Shard, not Bright Core. And as I said, I'm about to end this video. So subscribe, like the video. Comment down below what video y'all want me to do. Any Anything y'all need help with. If y'all stuck on anything in Save the World, anything that kind of puzzles y'all and y'all don't know how it works, drop it in the comment and I'll try my best to help you. And it's your boy Dane and guess what? Stay tuned for the next video. We out.